No, you're not my mom. You're nothing to me. I don't ever want to see you again. I don't ever want to talk to you. I want nothing to do with you. Ever again. You're Patty. And you're also a piece of shit. How you gonna sit here and watch me bust my ass for the past seven years to provide for you and my family? Our, our family, my brothers. And fucking steal from me and hide it from me? What the fuck? I had to read a strand of text messages earlier, y'all. That was my mom texting somebody else. Being like, hey, can you pick me up and take me to the bank so I can hurry up and get this money out before they spend it? Before I spend my own money? What? I let my mom and my brothers live with me. I ended up buying them houses. Mom, you lived with me. You, you, you. I bought you a house of yours. And then what? And then I go do the show at the municipal? One of the best nights of my life? You sang on stage with me, dude. The song is called Fallin'. And it's about picking up people in time and need, not fucking stealing from them. How you gonna sit here and tell me, oh, Lord, you need to, you have a spending problem? No, you do! How you gonna buy two half million dollar houses and not fucking tell me? You are so fake. You're so fake. This is why none of y'all would hang out with me lately. This is why things have been the way they've been. I don't ever ask for nothing. I ask to, I ask to have bonfires with people. My family. I, I just want to sit around a fire and talk. This is why y'all haven't talked to me in so long. Y'all been out fake balling, fucking buying half million dollar houses with money I've busted my ass for, and then turn around and tell me that I need to slow down on spending when I'm literally buying chocolate milk and dip. You've sit there, and you've watched me be an independent artist, which means I have to work harder. Not only that, I started out as a country dude who raps. That's even harder. Then when, then when you're good at it, then, then everybody wants to attack you for being good at it. You've seen that too. You've seen people fucking lose court cases with me and take up so much time and so much of my money and me not never make the money back just from faulty motherfuckers trying to sue me. You were literally sitting there rubbing my back being like, it'll be okay, baby. As you're fucking stealing from me. And trying to hide it. Not to mention what happened three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. I needed a spot for a studio. Mine was being remodeled. The other house I bought her. She's like, oh, yeah, honey, don't worry. You can move all your stuff into here. All your studio stuff, your instruments, everything. I did. I got a call from a random person. They said, uh, Mr. Upchurch, are you, are you going to come get your stuff out of this house? I said, what are you talking about? They said, well, we bought this house with all your shit in it. Luckily for myself, the people who bought the house who had no idea, um, <coughs> they let me come get my stuff. <coughs> they were normal people 
with morals, people that cared about stuff. So they they looked around. They knew something was fucked up. So they let me come get my stuff. He said, well, what about this car in the garage? I said, what car? He's like, oh, this car back here. I said, well, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, yeah, come on. We go out back. He opens this garage. There's a fucking T-top Trans Am in there, like a Smokey and the Bandit one. I, I don't know about I'm too busy working. Man. While I've been in court, having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to what? To win the court cases? Because everyone knew I was going to fucking win these court cases. But while I'm busting my ass to pay all of our bills, while I'm busting my ass to pay my lawyer? Also, people. Dude, I came out of your body, dude. I don't care. Anybody that associates with you, I don't give a fuck if it's family or not. You know the bad thing? I'm not even hurt. I'm not even sad. Look at all the shit I've been through. This was the cherry on top, bud. Patty. You're fucking dead to me. Anybody who associates with you in our family is fucking dead to me as well. I already felt like I didn't have a dad. You've all I've talked about. I, I fucking thought the world of you, dude. I was always checking on you. What about all these fucking times I asked you, do you need any money? No, baby, I'm good. Yeah, I bet the fuck you was. You wanted to do a song. I said, okay. I took you to do one. You wanted to sing on the fucking stage. I brought you up there to sing on the stage. I was a mama's boy, dude. You're not my mom anymore. Don't ever talk to me again. I want nothing to do with you. And as far as my so-called dad goes... Dude